gentlemen, it's time for the grand finals between Slice and Dice and Thunder Griffin. This tournament has been filled with many, many strong opponents. Opponents and players alike, like Vanny Star, Thunder Griffin, Aura Master, and even Bolimar. Unfortunately for Bolimar, he wasn't able to make it to the top eight. But right now, we're not talking about those players. Right now, we're talking about Slice and Thunder Griffin. And as we see in the very first field phase, Slice and Dice takes a nice W against Thunder Griffin, getting a little bit of synergy and a lot of pressure. Tries to go for a pickup, no follow up though, and Thunder Griffin manages to push back. The JX is going to punish the smog right now, and that is going to be a nice combo from Sepdal right there. I'd like to mention that also Slice picking Sepdal rather than his signature Libre against Thunder Griffin, knowing that Sepdal is just a way better matchup against Chen. That Antair actually caught Slice and Dice out of the air. That's insane! But the Hex is not going to connect. And the Smog is going to delete those projectiles after hitting Slice and Dice. Thunder Griffin going Jirachi. That's a really odd but interesting support to pick. Unfortunately for him, he gets smacked in the face by Slice. And Slice takes the very first round of this Grand Final set. Thunder Griffin opting to go Whimsicott now. Slice and Dice getting a bit too close to a Sonar, like Thunder Griffin. Using the Emoga to punish Thunder Griffin right now, that was insane. Also knowing that Emoga is not going to hit directly behind him, back to the side. Just so that the Smog is not getting detonated. Really nice combo into Leaf Play at the end. Slice and Dice finally getting enough synergy for Burst Attack. Unfortunately for him, Thunder Griffin also has enough synergy for Burst in order to answer back. That health is going really low right now, and Thunder Griffin, not health, the shield health is going really low, but Thunder Griffin won the field phase, going back and forth, going for the spin, right into Slice's face. Tries to go for the 6-6, but no, the seats are coming through into, man, into the Leaf Storm. Thunder Griffin with only 100 HP left, but he does have Whimsicott in case. Slice and Dice throws any type of projectiles at him, winning the field phase. Goes for a jump and the Hex does not connect. Only 18 seconds on the clock, Thunder Griffin pops the first attack. Goes over the Leech so that he doesn't get hit by them. Slice and Dice pops the first attack. 8x not going to connect them. Oga, is it going to hit? No, it's not! Amazing movement from Thunder Griffin right now. Goes for the 6x. Is it gonna go for the first attack? No, the grab does not connect either! And that's a punish from Slice and Dice in game one for him. Slice and Dice taking the game one of this grand final set. Moving on to game two of this grand final set, we saw Slice and Dice putting so much pressure against Thunder Griffin. That was amazing, by the way. The fact that Slice and Dice just knew how to adapt and how to counter Thunder, and the fact that Thunder already knew before the set started that he was gonna go. Septile. I mean, that's some top level gameplay right there. But enough about that, let's talk about the actual match in this game too. Thunder Griffin zoning out Septile again with the projectiles, flipping Slice and Dice with the laser. Go for the fully charged back game. Jumping over the laser and that's a nice punish. Jumping over, going for the JX, really nice job. Into the leaf lead. Dashes up and goes for another JX. That's a nice second punish. Goes for a third JX and manages to land, punishing the smog. Thunder Griffin already super low in HP, gets wall splatted. Slice and Dice going for a nice reset, jumping over, but no, no connection. Never mind. He manages to pick it up and take in this round one. Thunder Griffin not being able to manage to. But yeah, Thunder Griffin now finding an opening against Slice. Goes for a fully charged counter attack but gets met with a face to face overheat. Thunder Griffin. What a nice read and what a nice and aggressive play from him. Slice jumping over. Not managing to hit anything with the Leech Seeds. And Whimsicott comes out being able to delete a lot of, of Slice's projectiles. Goes for the 8x. 
dashes backwards, but no. Finds nothing. The slide goes right under the 5x from slice. Small coming through, is that going to punish him? Oh god, no, it's going to clash and slice and dice is going to win the interaction. Adex coming through again. Thunder Griffin does not want to be face to face against Slice. The small comes through, the Adex comes in, and Thunder Griffin taking the second round against Slice. Now Thunder going for the homing attack and beating the counter attack from Slice and Ice with Smog. Anti air seem getting rid of that little bit of synergy against Slice and Dice. And Slice. Goes for the anti air. Goes for the second anti air and catches him. Another back A. Taking away, taking away Slice's burst attack. This is not looking too good for him right now. Emolga coming through. Is that gonna punish? No, it's not. Back A. Smog. And Slice has burst yet again. Is he going to get his shield breaking? No, but he's going to lose a field face against Thunder Griffin. Back and coming through. Ghost dashing. Again. And Slice pops his burst attack. He knows that he can lose it at any point in time. And now is the time to attack. And now he finds an opening. Drops it. Catching Thunder out of the air. But no, Slice. Opting to go burst attack. Thunder Griffin answering back with his own burst. Slice Thunder. Now, who has the advantage slice? That's going to be a shield broken. And a nice little pull off from Thunder Griffin. No, it's not! Really nice job from Slice to take advantage of that situation right there. Thunder Griffin forced to pop his uh, Ghost Dash. JX stuffing out the counter attack from Thunder Griffin. Slice, you're about to take the round and the game too. Only 10 seconds left. And that JX took it, ladies and gentlemen. Slice. To get the game 2 of this grand final set. Now in this game 3, Slice just needs one more game. Just one more game in order to reset the bracket and get a chance to win this week's FFC 28. Now on Neo CD, let's see if Thunder is able to at least take one game against Slice. Without further ado, Slice trying to go for a leech, he trying to go over the laser, but it just takes so long. Thunder Griffin managing to wing the field face. Slice is playing a bit more aggressive now. Thunder Griffin against the wall. Never mind. Tries to go for your anti air, but no, the JX from Septal is just such a good button to press. Thunder Griffin already less than half of his HP. Tries to jump, but no. Slice and dice. Slice getting hit by the back white yet again. And Molga coming through. Back white is going to be punished by grab. I am going to start using that tech. I did not know that was a thing. Back it catching Slice out of the air into a grab. Slice now with half of, it, half of his HP and a defense debuff. Has to find an opening against Thunder Griffin who is in rage. Meaning that he has more defense and a little bit more attack as well. Back dashing and using the spin move from it. Chandy. JY not connecting, and the laser is not going to connect either. Slice with the JY catches Thunder Griffin out of the air and takes the first round of this game three. This, have been, this has been a very dominant show for Slice right now. JX is going to connect. Slice now winning the field phase and has enough synergy to pop his first attack. He's probably going to do it once he finds a solid way to take this game against Thunder Griffin and that catch might have been it. That Emolga combo is going to wall splat. Now Thunder Griffin with double debuff, a defense and speed debuff. Slice and Dice is taking the advantage right now, punishing the smog. Taking that advantage, look at that damage ladies and gentlemen. Thunder Griffin already at 56 of his HP left. Leaf, okay. Razor Leaf coming through the homing attack, it's not going to take it. Thunder Griffin trying to go through, only 4 HP left. Whimsicott coming through, the anti is not going to connect. Smog is going to hit Slice out of the air. Dijax is going to take it. Slice resetting the bracket. And now we are going to the true grand finals of FFC 28. Ladies and gentlemen, we saw Slice taking a solid 3 0 against Thunder Griffin in this grand finals now that he has reset the bracket let's see if he's able to take all that momentum and take a solid 3-0 again or at least a victory 
or if Thunder Griffin is going to compose himself and bring it all the way back. He's still got time to adjust in this Grand Finals. Winning the field phase, Thunder Griffin putting a lot of pressure, now finding an opening, Slice punishing the anti-air from Thunder Griffin. That's already one fourth of Thunder Griffin's, uh, one half of Thunder Griffin's health gone. Slice is nice trying to go for dash up grab, but doesn't find anything. Projectiles coming through, Thunder pushing Slice back into the dual phase. Another curious thing that we just see is that Thunder Griffin actually opting to go for a different support, going for Snivy now, which I think is a better option in this matchup. But Slice doesn't care about that. He's just gonna go for a JX combo into an Emoga follow up. 17 H, I mean 17 hit combo. Bullet Saint is going to send Thunder Griffin back into the field phase. Only 22 HP left. But that fully charged Y is going to catch Slice. And that fully charged Laser is going to catch him yet again. Back at field phase. This is Thunder Griffin's natural uh, environment. Snivy catching the forward Y from Slice and punishing him. Only 18 seconds left. Slice, yeah, better find an opening quickly because Thunder Griffin in first attack is a dangerous opponent. And now Thunder Griffin taking the round one. Now in this round two, a very wild air laser from Thunder Griffin taking the first field phase of this round two. Slice and Ice answering back with his own Emoga and double debuff combo in the field in the dual phase. Smug is not going to connect. As a matter of fact, he's going to get punished by the JX Slice. Look at all that damage! Jumping over the back Y, punishing it. One of the very few moves that can punish it at the right timing. Snivy, is it gonna get punished? No, Sly is not being able to grab in time. Thunder Griffin tries to find an opening. The fully charged counterattack is jumping over the JX. No, no follow up. The JX from Sly is going to take it into round three. Thunder Griffin trying to win the face by throwing a nice laser. His counterattack unfortunately gets stuffed out by Slice, but Slice wants to be in the field phase. Going for a nice dash up grab, going for a nice setup into the bullet seed. Thunder Griffin gets clipped by one of the saucers from Sceptile. Amoga coming through and Slice reading the counterattack from Thunder Griffin goes for the dash up grab. That's a critical hit and that's half of Thunder Griffin's HP gone. JY coming through into a nice laser follow up. Not too much damage, but enough to push Slice back. Dashes forward, goes for the anti air, no punish. Goes right under the JX and punishes with a grab. Thunder Griffin has taken back the momentum of the battle. Laser not connecting against Slice. Slice trying to find an open, goes for the leaf blade, but no gets stuffed by one of the projectiles. Oh my god, I've never seen those two moves clash, but I guess they do now. Lies with first. Lies. No, that's not going to punish that JXS though. Look at that. Now Thunder Griffin popping his first attack back using the Snivy and into a follow up. Tries to go for the first attack, but no, Slice jumps over and now it's his time to punish. Oh, he held it for a bit too long. Now Thunder Griffin managing to punish. Only 14 health. And Thunder Griffin in a hard knockdown. Both anti air splash and the smog takes it. Thunder Griffin taking the first game of this bracket reset. 1 to 0. Moving on to game 2 of this bracket reset of the grand finals. We saw Thunder Griffin taking a very, very close, dangerously close game 1. Now let's see if he's able to bring the momentum back or if Slice is just going to take over again. Because let me tell you, that last game came down to the wire. Now in this new field phase, we see that Slice is trying to find a single opening but there's so many projectiles on the field right now that four white catches on the Griffin. Not enough to block it in time. Dashes back, it's not gonna be a punish. No pushes! Slice and dice, and the overheat is going to be with punish. That's a leaf blade combo. 
That grab is going to come through. Thunder Griffin with double debuffs right now. Goes for the grab. Is that going to be it? No, it's not. Thunder Griffin only 25 HP left. And a speed and attack debuff. Snivy pushing. Slice a little bit back. Emoga coming through. Oh, back dashes the grab. And Slice catches Thunder Griffin out of the air with the JY. Really nice job. Now, on this round two field phase, man, the patience between both players just to stay face to face with the shield. But now, Slice stuffing that small counter attacking field phase into a nice wall splat combo. Thunder with a double debuff. Oh, catches Slice off guard into the grab. Really nice job. Slice does have his burst live and ready. Oh, really nice punish that minimizes into the smog to catch Slice and Slice out of the air. No! Back white coming through Slice. Opting to go for his burst attack. Now they're both face to face. Snivy coming through, but no! Slice sees it! And now, Thunder Griffin, half of his HP is going to drop after that punish, ladies and gentlemen. Slice not only has rage, which means that it's gonna deal so much damage, but now. He has the advantage. Thunder Griffin, is he going to be forced to pop his first attack? Yes, he is. Both players are first right now. Slice reading the minimize from Thunder Griffin and takes it round two and their game two of this bracket reset. Now, we saw in the last game that Slice and I took a super solid, super, super solid uh, game two from Slice, but. Thunder Griffin did take a very close game one in this bracket race. So let's see if he's able to do it once again. Or if he's going to fall to slice the septile. Dodging all of the projectiles, blocking the laser as well. Slice trying to find an opening, going for the tipper lift play so that he cannot get punished. And Thunder Griffin just getting away from him. Anti air in the JX, but both moves flash. Small coming through. Slice. Dashing up, trying to find an opening, and does it by beating the back Y with the JX. That's a, that is a grab crush, ladies and gentlemen. Half of Slice's HP just got deleted by the lamb. And Moga coming through Thunder Griffin, minimizing it through and by getting grabbed in the end by Slice. Air Laser is going to catch Slice out of the air. Now the Willow is wall is going to come through Slice. Jumping back with the Leech to follow up, but the Slavy is going to catch Slice out of the air. That spin is not going to do a follow up though. Empty Hop. Overheat is going to be blocked. This is bad for Thunder Griffin. No, he does not have a DP option in case he gets into the corner, but it doesn't matter. Goes for a jump into grab Slice. 44 HP left. Only 18 seconds on the clock. Minimize coming through. Nothing. 15 seconds. Thunder has the advantage and Slice has to make an option, catches Slice out of the air, I mean catches Thunder out of the air, Thunder forced to pop his burst attack, Emoga is going to clash, but the Will-O-Wisp is going to go through, and Thunder Griffin is going to take the first round of this game 3. Now Slice does have a little bit of the advantage, having a little bit more synergy gain against Thunder, walks up, trying to find an opening, counter-attacking, Right under the back wide. That's a nice punish. Going for the side swap. Is he going to find anything? JY. Anti air. No. Thunder Griffin manages to push back Slice. JX is not going to come through. And Moga coming through now. The Y attacks are not going to connect. But that 4Y is going to clash with Thunder Griffin now. Slice and dice. Slice with a double debuff. Pops the burst attack. And that's a punish, ladies and gentlemen. That is definitely a punish. Look at that. Thunder Griffin. So, such low HP. Trying to find an opening. That back Y is a line attack. But the small man just to hit Slice. Now Slice. Gets pushed back by Thunder Griffin, but no! He catches Thunder out of the air. This is going to hurt a lot. This is a hard knockdown situation. They, the 5x not going to connect though. Snivy coming through. 
but punishes with the Giga Drain. That's the first Giga Drain of the entire set, and it definitely paid off, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Emoga coming through, punishing Thunder. Flies with the advantage again, grabs the minimize. Now, dashes up forward, goes for a homing attack, but Thunder pushes back with the smog. The JY going to catch Thunder into a nice setup. Goes, oh no, Thunder Griffin goes under. Slices Leaf Storm as well as Slice going over Thunder Griffins. 6x. Thunder Griffin is at a disadvantage right now. The fully charged counter attack is not going to connect. And that back Y and charge side Y is going to hit. The fully charged laser is going to clip Slice, sending him all the way back into build phase. Thunder Griffin is zoning Slice out so much right now. That shield is about to drop, ladies and gentlemen. Thunder managing to block it and smog it right through the leaf blade right now, pushing back Slice. Thunder Griffin wants to play the Sonar game and he's playing it amazingly right now. Popping the first attack, that is going to hurt and that's going to be game three. Man, what a set. This is a curious turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. Not only Thunder Griffin is one game away from taking the grand finals, but now it seems like Slice is the one that is struggling against him. I mean, I'm not saying it's been a complete curve stomp, but it's definitely looking a lot more like Thunder Griffin's game, unlike the last set that we saw in this Grand Finals. Now, let's see in this game for if Slice is able to take a game, or if Thunder Griffin is just going to take everything in this FFC 28. Slice and the uh, Slice. Punishing Thunder Griffin with that JX. Not committing to the combo, going for a grab, sending Thunder back into the field phase. Slice does not want Thunder to set up at all. He's just going to play super aggressively right now on Thunder. Seems like he's trying to adapt right now, but he's not adapting fast enough. Slice being faster than Chandy right now. Is Emoga going to punish? Yes it is, and the 4 is going to follow up. Tries to go for the grab, tries to jump, but no, Thunder saw it coming, but no, he gets crossed up by himself. Slice, taking his first round. Dashing up forward. Emoga coming through, punishing the air laser from Thunder Griffin, tries to jump over, but no. Man, look at that damage. Thunder chipping down Slice's health with those anti-airs into the wall splat. Fully charged Y is going to punish the leaf blade. Slice, are you going to find an opening? Dashes up for it, catches Thunder out of the air. And flashes with the Snivy. Jumps over the JX, is not going to connect Thunder. Pushing Slice back into the wall, jumps back. And now he's back to neutral. Anti-air, not going to hit, and it's actually going to get punished by the Jigs from Slice. Look at that damage. Emoga coming through, and the Razor Leaf catches Thunder Griffin. Nice follow-up, spider away. Slice trying to jump Thunder again, catching him out with the anti-air. Not only that, Slice does not have burst anymore. He might have it after this stream, though. Yes, he will. Slice and Thunder Griffin popping the burst attack. Slice using his burst attack. He manages to run away from Thunder. And now the 4Y is going to take it. Super solid game 4 from Slice. Now, we're going to see game 5. Bracket reset grand final Slice and Dice. So we're Slice now, actually, against Thunder Griffin. Now, it's time to see who takes the crown and who stays home after this. Starting off with a super fast pace, field phase. Thunder Griffin wins it by counter and taking the 4Y from Slice. Going for the smog now, 4YY, and no, the second smog gets punished by the Jakes from Slice. 
Super nice reactions from him, going for the Leaf Blade, Ender, back into the build phase. JX coming through, no, dashes forward, and the forward white catches Thunder, punishing the JX. Thunder sliding right in front of Slice and using the Snivy to get out of the bad situation. Goes for the 5 white into the Willow Wiz, just to push back Slice. The Smog is going to connect, and Slice jumps forward to avoid the Willow Wiz into the Emoga follow up. But no, it does not catch, does not follow it up any way possible. Anti air coming through, but no, it's gonna get punished by Slice. The Smog is gonna come through. Thunder Griffin, only 22 HP left. Slice, you just need one more hit. Now the question is, are you gonna be able to hit Thunder Griffin? Such an amazing pressure, but the jump into JX means that Slice takes the first round. Blocking the first laser. Slice punishing the projectile from Thunder. Now, moving on to the dual phase, we see that Slice is just playing super aggressive, dashing up into Thunder's face. He does not want Thunder to set up at all whatsoever. And look at those nice, nice set up combos. Dashing forward again, you can see Slice can, is not letting go of Thunder Griffin pretty much right next to him right now. Thunder Griffin pushing back with the counter attack, Will O Wisp, and Snivy as well. He's just using every tool he has in the book. To get Slice away from him as soon as possible. JY pushing back Slice. Hex is not going to connect. Extended stay is going to save Slice, but it's not going to save him from that Adex. Into the grab. Slice with an attack and defense deep up. 140 HP left. Thunder Griffin has the advantage! And goes right over the first attack from Slice. Slice does manage to punish him with the grab. Thunder pushing back with his very own burst attack. Does a jump to jump over the Moga. No, it catches him at the very last second. Slice, this is your chance. Only 15 seconds left. No, gets anti air into burst attack. It's not looking too good for Slice right now. It might not be over for this round. But it's looking very grim right now. Actually, is it it? Is that it? It is it! Thunder Griffin taking the round two. We're going to our last round final game scenario. Both players are ready. Is that laser going to connect? It is, but Imoga cancels it so that it doesn't face him at the very last second. The dash out grab is going to hit. And now, Slice is just going to find a single opening. Does he find it? No! He gets swift punished by Thunder. And now, two thirds of his health are a third of his health is gone. Thunder. Trying to find a single opening slice with double debuffs and a red shield right now. Manages to catch Thunder out of the air with a forward white. Snivy going to save Thunder out of whatever Slice was going to throw out. But nope! Slice punishes back the Hex with the falling JY and look at that damage. Emoga coming through but no, Thunder is forced to block and tries to go stash but he no. He just dashes right into the JX Slice. Has a full burst meter. To play with. And Thunder with 10 HP left gets hit at the very end. And takes this week's FFC Pharaoh Fist Challenge 28.